can see Dell shares there at 1364, right? Not moving a lot, basically flat on the day. It's a really quiet day on, on Wall Street. Uh, what's interesting about that, though, is that some shareholders think that this stock could get a lot more in a deal. They are making their voices heard. And this Dell pri going private deal that seemed pretty assured before Friday now may not be so much. Andrew Barry from Barron's is here to talk about this one this morning. Uh, is this is this deal in, in real trouble? I, I think it is. I mean, the largest outside shareholder, Southeast Asset Management, which owns 8.5%, has come out and strongly uh, urging the company to, uh, or urging shareholders to basically uh, not okay the deal. And other mm -hmm. shareholders are, are also very unhappy. I can't find one that's basically happy about this transaction. Wow, it, besides Michael Dell. Michael Dell, I mean, he, <laughs> right. he, he loves the deal. Basically, uh, it values the company about eight times earnings or six times earnings after their cash. Most LBOs are, being done, are done for double that price. So this is really an outlier. Now, in terms now of, what exactly doesn't Southeastern like about this deal? Well, they think the company besides worth, the share price, they think the stock's worth about twenty-four dollars a share. They mm -hmm. think it dramatically undervalues the PC business, the enterprise business they have, the server business, and a lot of their newer businesses as well. I mean, they they say the whole package is worth twenty-four, and so that's basically their big beef. Right, but the stock hasn't seen that price in years, right? I mean. It's one thing to say we think it's worth that, but it hasn't been yeah, there in so the stock, long. The stock, does the market, the stock was eighteen? The stock else? was eighteen a year ago. I mean, yeah, it, was, it hasn't been twenty-four for a little while, yeah. but it was eighteen a year. I mean, a year ago, and so. Um, and uh, you know the company's supposed to earn about a dollar seventy-five this year, and you know big, big cap tech companies trade for about ten times earnings right now, and mm -hmm. Dell's much cheaper. So the whole sector, I think, it has a relatively low valuation now, and th that is true that it hasn't seen twenty-four for a while, but it doesn't mean it couldn't do it. Now Southeastern, I think they have about an eight and a half percent right. stake, right? Biggest outside shareholder. Right. Some of the other shareholders are getting on board. Uh, can they squelch this deal? Do they have that? How much I, muscle do they need to get well, behind it's, them? Well, it's tough to tell. I mean, the deal needs 50% approval, excluding the Michael Dell stake. So it makes mm -hmm. it easier for the opponents because Michael Dell's 16% stake is not voted in favor of the deal. So basically, uh, it, it could be tough. I mean, index funds may or may not vote for it, and uh, arbitrageurs actually might be inclined to sell right now because... Uh, you know, the stock is trading pretty much at the deal price. The stock is, pretty, is trading a penny below the deal price now, which suggests that people think that Michael will have to increase the price to get the deal done or that the deal goes down and maybe a better alternative uh, surfaces. Right, that's what I was saying. And, and Dell has come out and they said, look, we looked at all the options. This is the best option, right? That's their... That's their, their story and they're sticking to it? Yeah, I mean, that's their story. The question is, why do they need to do anything? I mean, mm -hmm. this company was doing pretty well as it is. There was no need for a strategic transaction, and they uh, uh, looked at a lot of other things, staying public, doing their business, and basically trying to build value for shareholders over the long period of time could be a, a much better alternative for shareholders here. All right, this one's going to play out, right? We've got a some couple more stories months, yeah. on this one. Yeah. Yeah, I, this story is going to be a hot one for the next couple of weeks and maybe months. Right. All right, Andrew Barry from Barron's, thank you very much.